Hello everybody, uh, it's Reggie here again. So I've uh, been carrying on with the landscaping and uh, I've got in the post today these two uh, woodland scenics um, shrubs and saplings, one in medium green and the other in light green. And what it is, get one out. It looks like they've used a uh, sort of sea foam uh, stems and then um, put the scatter on there and you can either use them as saplings or break the uh, break them down into shrubs so I'll just try it a little bit over in this corner um, which is here to fill the embankment because I don't want it to be uh, just short bare grassland it, it's not very interesting so um, I'm mixing it in with the woodland scenics bushes uh, I've just glued it down with some PVA, but now I'm going to um, put some watered down PVA on as well to try and seal it in and maybe scatter a few knock leaves on. But that's the that's the basic effect, which um, I think doesn't look too bad. Just experimenting with it. Um, I still need to put a capping on that uh, buttress there. Um, but I'll work the way down and... Um, see how it looks but at the, at the minute it looks quite good it looks more effective i think than just using the the uh, wooden scenic bushes or the javis uh, foliage uh, it looks a bit more more realistic in in my opinion i don't know don't know what you think anyway i'm going to carry on um and i'll do a little bit more and show you it later uh, I thought I'd show you a, uh, an addition to the fleet here at Brayworth Park <coughs> and it is the uh, new Hornby uh, Bullet Pacific East Asiatic Company uh, 35024. Now um, I know this isn't my era or uh, my area even uh, being in the East Midlands um, but I do have a few steam engines and um, this one really caught my eye. I think it's absolutely a uh, lovely looking locomotive and the livery is, is superb and I'm very much in the camp um, of uh, I'll, I'll run basically what I want. It's uh, It can be on a rail tour as far as I'm concerned. Um, I, I don't get uh, too bogged down in prototypical uh, operations. I don't really know a lot about the real railways anyway so um, I've ummed and ahed about this uh, locomotive for a few weeks and saw it was uh, selling out quite fast so I thought uh, I'd go for it and, and add it to the fleet and it really is a, a stunning um, locomotive from Hornby. Uh, I've run it in and on the rolling road it runs superb so now I'm going to give it its first run around the layout um, and we'll have a look at it. Um, as usual the livery application and the detail is uh, superb in my opinion. Um, so I'm very, very pleased to have got it. Uh, I fitted uh, Hatton's 8-pin decoder in, a uh, direct plug decoder, um, for steam locomotives. Unless they're sound fitted, I just buy a basic um, decoder. I don't think you need anything particularly uh, fancy in a, in, in a steam engine that hasn't got any lighting or any other functions that just goes forward or reverse. Um, anyway, so... Um, I shall run it around the layout and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hello again, uh, so I've um, finished putting the Woodland Scenics uh, saplings and bushes 
down the embankment here and I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. Um, they really are quite effective, I think. Um, yes, they're not cheap at 14 pounds a box, but you do get quite a lot. Uh, I was able to do all this run, which is um, a good uh, 10, 10 foot or so, maybe more than that, 12 foot. And uh, I've still got some more left as well. So I've uh, interspersed it with some of the poly bush and also some of the woodland scenics bushes and uh, Javis uh, bushes as well. Some areas I've left a bit bare, you know, not covered all of it. And then some areas I've gone a, a little bit more, a little bit more on the, uh, on the, on the thickness of the undergrowth. And then there's a poly bush on that end. So yeah, overall, I think it's come out um, quite well. What I, what I was thinking, I will still add more to it probably, maybe some small trees and bushes, etc. But yeah, I'm quite pleased how it's uh, developing. Um, something else is now um, new up here at Braeworth Park that arrived today is the Cura Scale KUA nuclear flask wagons that have only just been released. I had these on pre-order with rails of Sheffield. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I will get them out and, and run them, but uh, there's been lots of YouTube videos about it. But I do think the, the box, the packaging is rather neat. You've got this uh, flip flip top box that's uh, got some sort of magnet catch. And then you open the box with a bit of detail about the, um, about the wagons from a Cure Scale parts list foam cover and then there's the actual wagons themselves um, I think they were 156 pounds which for the two and the quality that they are I don't think is a bad price really uh, but yes my wallet's taken a bit of a hammering again this month but with the um, Hornby East Asiatic which has now got some coaches behind it it's on a rail tour take some running shots of that and what I will do is hook this up to this DRS um, Class 68 and we'll run those round and see how they look. I'm back in a minute. Okay, so um, I've got them hooked up now and let's just have a little bit of a closer look at them. Um, the detailing is just fantastic. Uh, they are a, a good weighty model as well. They've got, they've got a good weight to them, a lot of die cast parts, but the detail is just absolutely brilliant. Um, to me, well worth the investment. If um, this is your sort of era or you just want to run them anyway, then you know I would recommend getting them as soon as you can because I'm sure they are going to sell out I haven't had a lot from a Cura scale, um, but from what I, I have had um, a couple of wagons and from what I've seen and read, they're just running rings around the other manufacturers, um, maybe not Dapol, but certainly Backman and Hornby. Um, although I've been pleased with, with things I've had from Backman and Hornby, you can just tell the quality of these is, is on another level. So um, if I was, uh, at Backman or Hornby, I would really be taking note of what uh, Acura Scale are doing and um, try and up our game. Um, I've got the Class 37s uh, on order in DRS livery, livery with Acura Scale, and I'm really looking forward to that coming out because if the quality is anything like this, it is going to be absolutely brilliant model. So, yeah, very pleased. So, they've not run round yet, so I'm going to take them on the first run round, and uh, you can see with me how how they go but yeah absolutely superb model and um, well worth getting if you're interested
Okay, so uh, I'll leave it there for um, uh, this one. So, two uh, excellent purchases this month. Um, the uh, East Asiatic from Hornby and these um, wagons from Nuclear Flask Wagons from Acura Scale. As I said, absolutely brilliant. Um, I do know the Flask Wagons should have two DRS coaches on either end and be double headed etc when they're carrying waste but um, let's just say these are empty and they're going for maintenance or or something you know I'll just make it up as I go along really um, but I will actually try and get some of the coaches and and make a, a correct formation um, but yeah I do realize that it's not exactly right at the moment but you know it doesn't matter Anyway, um, if you've got this far, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any comments, please put them below. Um, like if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to. And um, I'll see you again next time when hopefully a little bit more progress will be made in this area. And um, maybe some more running shots. I don't think there'll be any more acquisitions at the moment. Um, give my wallet a rest for a while. Anyway, thanks again and I will see you all soon. Bye.